If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. To view and manage all your expense transactions in QuickBooks Online, hover over the Expenses link in the navigation bar. Then click the Expenses link in the side menu that appears to view the Expense Transactions page to the right. This page shows all expense transactions from the last 365 days, but you can change this by using the Filter drop-down button at the top of the page. In the upper right corner of the page are two drop-down buttons. To open the Print Checks or Pay Bills windows, click or select a choice from the Print Checks Pay Bills drop-down button. Alternatively, to create a new expense transaction, click the New Transaction drop-down button. Then select the type of transaction to create from the drop-down menu that appears. Selecting any choice from this drop-down menu opens the corresponding transaction creation window. Clicking the Filter drop-down button in the Expense Transactions page shows a drop-down menu that lets you filter the transaction list below it by selecting Filtering Choices from the drop-downs and fields that appear in the menu. The Filtering Choice drop-downs and fields include Type, Status, Delivery Method, Date with From and To fields, Payee, and Category. To apply a filter after selecting Filtering Choices, Click the Apply button in this drop-down menu. To reset the filtering choices, click the Reset button in the drop-down menu. To remove filtering choices after applying them, either click the X button to the right of the particular filter choice to remove, or click the Clear Filter slash View All link to the right of the Filter button to clear all your filters. Under the Filter button is a Batch Actions drop-down button. Depending on which transactions are currently checked in the Transactions list, the choices shown in the drop-down menu that appears when you click the Batch Transactions button change. To perform a single action on multiple transactions, select the transactions on which to perform the Batch action in the Transactions list by checking the checkbox to the left of the transactions. Then click the Batch Actions drop-down button and select the batch action to perform on the selected transactions from the drop-down menu that appears. In the upper right corner of the transaction list are three buttons for Print List, Export to Excel, and Settings. To open a printer-friendly Expense Transactions page and open your web browser's print dialog box so you can print the page, click the Print List button. You can close this page after printing it. To download the expense transaction list as an Excel workbook, click the Export to Excel button. To show expense transaction list display options in a drop-down menu, click the Settings button. To show or hide columns in the list, check or uncheck the names of the columns under the Columns heading in the drop-down menu. Click the Show More or Show Less link to show or hide additional columns in the menu from which you can choose. To select the number of transaction rows to show per page in the list, click the Rows drop-down in the drop-down menu and select a choice. To compress the amount of vertical space each row in the transaction list uses, check the Compact checkbox. The column headings for the Expense Transactions list are Date, Type, Number, Payee, Category, Memo, Total, and Action. Clicking any of the column headings other than Action sorts the transactions by the values in that column. Depending on the specific type of transaction, the Category column may contain a drop-down that lets you select to which account to attribute the expense. Clicking any transaction in the list opens the Transactions window. The Action column contains a link you can click and a drop-down from which you can select a link that lets you perform the clicked or selected action on that particular transaction. The action choices vary depending on the type of transaction. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.
www.thepowerofpositivity.com.